I used to like my tits, they were up here, and now they're down here, and you know, and, and that's, that's the other thing, I, I got, I <laughs> breastfed my kids, they were great, I loved it, I was super happy to do it, big black to this, and I got like awesome, like tack on porn star boobs, I went from <laughs> prematurely born, she was always like a very small child, and she's always been underweight, and that's her big struggle. And a lot of people will completely shut her down when she complains about it, and I always say like, hold on, you can't um, diminish what other people feel just because you're in a painful place. Um, and the, the issues with like stretch marks and body marks, I think it's uh, always great to realize, like how we show the Photoshop, a lot of the, the women that you see on those makeup commercials, they're like 14 years old, so they don't have any acne or anything, because they haven't gone through puberty yet. Mm. Uh, and also, um, you know, we have this thing where everybody looks perfect, nobody has scars, nobody has birthmarks. It's like, they do, they get Photoshopped off, and now we have this unrealistic, almost alien human ideal but we need to recognize that it's not real and people are different. We come in all shapes, sizes, colors, and those colors could be blotches of different colored skin on your body or, you know, there are people who don't like the fact that they have like white blonde hair and they feel it makes them look old or, um, I have a cousin who has very, very kinky hair and she just feels like it doesn't make her attractive and men won't find her attractive because she has kinky hair. So she has hundreds of thousands of wigs and different straightening things because that makes her feel attractive. Yeah, see, I think for me personally, I think it's the, the perceived flaws in people yeah. that make them more attractive to me because that's realer to me. I dated a man who literally had 500 scars all over his body from a childhood disease. And I thought those were the sexiest things ever. It's not like, yes, I you know, I got that in Uruguay when I was fighting the Russians. It wasn't that. It was, it, it was, you know, yeah, I had to go to the dermatologist every three days and get something removed. Ooh, yeah, baby. You know? But there was something, there was, you know, I found that so human. When and when he owned it, but even even so, I just found it so human to see a body in its natural state, not altered by anything. And, um, you know, I have friends who are very skinny and still hate their bodies, yeah. um, who are, I think, gorgeous uh, and turn heads. And, you know, we're focusing on fat today because that is our issue. Um, and it's also the one that society is focusing on. I mean, for crying out loud, our first lady, God love her, I adore her, is focusing on, you know, an anti-obesity campaign. So, or it's really get moving. But there is that, that sort of secondary, you know, would you like fries with that Coke, pun intended. You know, here's the get moving campaign, anti-obesity. You know what I mean? So. Um, we're, I'm so sorry, we're out of time. We'd love to talk about some of the stuff after. I think one of the biggest points. Dr. Moran. I want to value what you all are saying. And I think that um, this particular intersection of um, uh, people of size, large body masses, is you know, a more intense problematic in a lot of ways. And part of it you pointed out to um, the last week campaign. You know, meanwhile, 
we have uh, at least 20% of children are going hungry every day in our country. So we're not talking about feeding people, we're talking about them mm -hmm. eating less. Mm -hmm. um, and I love Michelle, but I think it's a hugely, it's a mistake and it's it aligning with a particular, um, what you pointed to, uh, uh, you know, a particular kind of concern about childhood obesity that's connecting to this mothers being bad mothers. Paradise. This assumption yeah, yeah. of immorality that aligns with race and class. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. when we can all feel good about ourselves, like if we do that internal work, we're still facing a really huge structural constraint that's particularly um, exploitative for people of color, mm -hmm. um, who are the ones who <laughs> suffer in this country from lack of nutritional food, yes. exercise because it's a structural issue that there's not parks where we live, mm -hmm. there's not access to gyms where we live, and these things, and so it gets you know, added on to um, these people as if it's their blame, when in fact it's a structural issue of racism and poverty in this country. Mm -hmm. So I think that we can feel good about it, but we also need to attend to this is structural racism at work, actually. Yeah, there's so many tentacles that go out. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I have one thing. Um, it's super quick. When we start discussing uh, body mm -hmm. image and size, we have a tendency to focus on female bodies. Mm -hmm. We yes. really need to make sure that we include trans and queer bodies. We need to make sure that we include male bodies because they also suffer from societal pressure. They also suffer from race and class issues. They also feel pressure to look and be and feel a certain way. They also have issues with themselves on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Head mm -hmm. Leg in her book, Big Big Love, mm -hmm. says, you buy t shirt pants. You said you don't walk around the house naked. Some people still mm -hmm. have that fear of being naked. Yep. Yeah. Find a white t shirt. Yeah. Put that thing on and walk and wear it. Get it wet if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably. It is so super helpful <laughs> because like that. you yeah. get to see yourself in the plainest, blankest Yes. Yeah. That's powerful. And yeah. I really just want to make sure that everyone in this group has felt like there's some form of exclusivity that we all are talking about. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, uh, there's handouts. Um, oh, there's handouts in the front row for people who came later and didn't get any. And it has some supplemental information. I want more. A special thanks to Kelly <laughs> Shabari, by the way. Can I have like two of them actually? Oh, yeah. Thank you. 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 Th